welcome to the town of Dingle. Days without water along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, I did it all for you. So we have ended up parking up at Slee Head at one of the viewing points. And look, absolutely. Guess what? It's spectacular. It's amazing. And you can see behind us, it's just fam doubly dozer. So we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse. We're going to park up here for the night. Marianne's drying our swimmers. And, and they're going to blow away at this rate, I think. for Trudy and ourselves one of the loveliest spots it's a little bit busy now but last night we had a really lovely quiet night um, we're at Slee Head viewing point uh, we have a neighbour as well our neighbour's here this little chap here I've already had breakfast with him this morning he likes melon there you go I didn't know that about seagulls um, and then what they've done as well is they've put in these lovely little steps so that I know give me a minute um, so what you can do is you can come down with your coffee to the viewing point so they fitted some steps in but then even kinder than that they put in some bench seats for you so when you have your coffee in hand you get to see this view well, isn't that just breathtaking? And if you decide that sitting on a stone bench isn't your thing and you want to get back to even more into nature, there's the next level down. You can come and sit on the grass and look down at the sea which is spectacular. There was a surfer out till about half ten last night, so we got the pleasure of watching him do his surfing, and uh, it was just glorious. Chris got a time lapse as well. Um, he's really getting into his time lapse and loving it. 
and giving some beautiful shots and shots and dimensions to our videos so hopefully you're enjoying those because we are having a fab time making them so we're just leaving Sleeve Head and um, what a crazy place for coaches during the day there's oh baby your washing's still on the oh. <laughs> pull over right, there pull over there though Marianne's left the washing on the wing mirror okay so we've got the washing off the wind mirror <laughs> and we're continuing our journey around the Dingle Peninsula around from Slee Head and yeah there's so many coaches um, you can see why the colour of the water when the sun is out and the rocks oh it's stunning We've probably only got about 12 minutes down the road and we've pulled over because there is this amazing view. See it on the drone. We just stopped at Clogger Head, which is one of the filming locations for the last um, Jedi, the last uh, Star Wars movie, um, which is really cool. I haven't actually seen the movie yet. Love Star Wars, so I'm looking forward to watching that one, and uh, we'll recognise some of the places in it. Velcro feet. Velcro feet. The sheep have Velcro feet. Fungi the dolphin. So we're uh, yeah we're parked up in Dingle and um, in the marina. In the marina, and uh, yeah the parking um, was free after six. Thank you, Adrian, for the tip. Yeah, superb. Superb tip. Superb tip. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a walk around town um, and see what's on offer. We're gonna try and find a cash point to get some cash out for. Marianne's horse riding because she's going for a little canter down the beach tomorrow. Part of her bucket list. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, we found somewhere just outside of Dingle Inventory. Um, so we'll show you that tomorrow at half nine in the morning. And the sun is shining. It's another beautiful evening in Ireland. It is. And uh, we just stood by the marina. And if you see behind oh, us, lovely. Look at that. You can see the boats. And uh, Dingle's, Dingle's a beautiful town, really, really busy during the day with coaches and things like that. But now evening has come, it's quietened down quite a lot. Um, and there's a boat over there from Canada called the Blue Hour. Strange brew is what we're used to.
So one of the main things that Dingle is famous for is Bungie the Dolphin. And wherever you go around the town of Dingle, there are boat trips out for Fungi. He's apparently been living in the harbour for like the last 30 years, so he's pretty old now, because I think dolphins only reach about the age of 40. Yeah, so they've actually got a beautiful statue to thank Fungi for his Ta -da! So yeah, there's, there's loads of boat groups and things like that that go out um, all over town. So if you like dolphins and you're in Dingle and you want to go out for a little boat trip to see Fungi, I think it's the place to do it. I just want to add for anyone who is concerned about Fungi's welfare, he is a wild dolphin who just loves attention and has been dingled, is what I've just been told by the ladies <laughs> over there. He's been dingled and he just doesn't want to leave. Lovely clean town, bright colours, lots of little bistros and bars, yeah. shops. Really, really cool. It's very, very special. I'm actually thinking that Dingle is one of my favourite towns. Sorry, we're touching it. I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the shops are really brightly painted, it's colourful, it's lively, there are jazz bars, pizzas, tapas, it's lovely, it's got a really nice energy about it, mm. it's um, obviously a town, um, but it's, it's lovely, it feels more like large, villagey, friendly, yeah, beautiful, really lovely, very quaint, very yes. seaside, -y. seaside, coastal town, but not, t vibe. not, but not tacky or no, really, really up, feels like market. Yeah. All that walking around town's made us thirsty. So I think it's time for you guys. It might be. <laughs> Today, love? This morning I'm going out on a horse. Ooh, I'm super excited. Um, as one of my to-do things on my list was to ride a horse on a beach. And you're know. doing it. Yay! So we're heading uh, just outside of Dingle to a village called Ventry and um, just past the pub on the right hand side is a turning that takes you to Long's Riding School, which is where Marianne's going to do her ride on the beach. And it's, she's going for an hour's ride, uh, and it's 35 euros for the hour, yeah. which is pretty good price, we think. There and are longer rides. Yeah, you can do a two hour ride. They also do yeah. mountain, you could do a beach and a mountain track if you wish yeah. to. Um, but with Marianne's dreams to do the beach. Yeah, and, and also I haven't ridden for 20 years. So, so I probably shouldn't push it and do more than an hour because I won't be able to sit down or walk or drive or do anything afterwards. And I went horse riding when we shortly after we first, well probably after we'd been married for about five years, Marianne had a dream of going horse riding. So we went to a horse school 
and I got on this horse called Maverick who was super huge um, and I was absolutely scared to death so <laughs> I have no intention I mean when I was about nine I'd watched a John Wayne movie and uh, we were in Lancashire um, and there was a little horse or pony or whatever it was that's behind the pub uh, that my friend uh, my friends owned and uh, my brother thought it was really funny for me to drop out of the tree onto the horse's back and then uh, I got catapulted over the hedge so I don't really have a lot of good experiences with horses I'm going riding you are on an horse <laughs> on an horse I've just heard they're Irish cobs or tinkers horses or gypsy horses that just makes it even better I have a couple of uh, cowboys with me <laughs> <laughs> this guy Worked on a ranch, ranch yes. for three years, three years, but never rode a horse. Never rode a horse. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and you, young lady, have done amazing things. <laughs> Tell everyone how fabulous you are. <laughs> I used to ride Western for about nine, ten years. Oh, cool. Did you actually ask inside if they do sign tattoo? No. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna like jump off and stand on it and when you're going down the beach? <laughs> so what is Western? What's the difference with Western and um the saddle for one? Mm. Ours are a little bit bigger and they've okay. got like a horn on the front. Ah. And then just the style of riding. We I did uh, barrel racing, so it was very fast and short rides. Wow. So like maybe are the max is like horses? 18 seconds <laughs> that we would like actually be going. Oh so. right, okay. <laughs> So it's like a form of racing? Yes. Amazing. So I think, I think you've got a bit of social pressure today. I do. <laughs> Although I think the horses are feeling more pressure because I don't know that any of them are up sure. for it. <laughs> so Marianne's all suited and booted up with her boots and her hat. And she's just had the briefing and she's got on her horse, as you can see behind me, called Sean. I think she's loving it. Um, really, really lovely place to come down to. So, uh, so yeah, let's go and uh, have a look and see what they're doing. Thank you. And she's on. So they're walking down towards the beach and it's a lovely path, really quiet um, and the sun is shining. What a beautiful day. Gentlemen, absolutely 
lovely, but these horse flies are dreadful at the moment. Yeah, there's lots. Um, but yeah, he was an absolute gentleman. Beautiful. I've just had a lovely hour's ride out with the girls from Long's Stables in Ventry, which is just outside Dingle. It was a really nice sedate ride because I haven't ridden for a while and I did explain that. Um, so you come up, you park up, you get here about 15 minutes early. So we went out at half past nine this morning. So we got here about quarter past nine um, and they introduce you to the horses. Then you go in and get your boots, get your helmet and uh, sign a form. And then they've got lovely mounting blocks to help oldies like us. Uh, get up on the horses and then rather than going down the main road they've got a cut through the fields um, and down one of the back lanes uh, almost directly onto the beach um, and it's just a lovely ride it's lovely and sedate nothing too hairy um, I think I'm going to ask Chris now can you put a link below so if anybody does come yeah we'll Dingle, put a link below thank you um, because um, I'm not a specialist rider by any means, but it was really nice to have. Um, and it was really nice suitable for all, all levels probably, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, suitable for all levels, and it was 35 euros for the hour. This peninsula has just been wonderful. We were, we were warned there was lots of traffic and tourists, and it was a bit chaotic, but that has not been our experience at all. Everybody is fabulous, as always, around Ireland, but it's just been super special. The roads are really quiet. Um, everybody, it's just been lovely.